everyone, welcome to The Frugal PA. My name is Carol, and today we're going to be talking about um, my moving budget. So, me and my mom, Lisa Marie Budgets, uh, will be moving into our new house um, in the next two weeks. I'll be moving in next week, but she won't be there until the week after. Um, and I wanted to talk to you guys about kind of what was my thought process in creating a moving budget. So, first of all, how, how much, like, what all do you have to think about? Well, you have to think about, like, are you getting a professional mover? Or are you moving yourself? Um, let's see, we have, or do you have a storage facility? Um, let's talk about packing and the new house. So, me and my mom are going to be using a moving company. My brother and sister, who would normally help me with this kind of stuff, they're actually moving the same weekend so they're not going to be able to help me so i was just like why don't we just hire some movers and um let them do it so it's going to be kind of expensive guys um but i think it's totally worth it so like uh, don't have to worry about throwing out my back okay they can move all the heavy stuff and then i can just point and tell them like oh put the couch here oh put the chair here you know it's going to be super easy super simple they'll be in and out so for three hours they have a minimum two hours um and they charge 125 dollars per hour so they quoted me for three hours and that came out to 312 dollars and 50 cents and they also have a fuel charge of 57 dollars and 70 cents so they're going to my storage unit and from their from their facility to my storage unit and then from my storage unit to the new house so that's it's going to be a lot of fuel i think it's mm, it's probably a 30 minute drive for them to get to the storage unit and then from the storage unit to my new house it's like 45 minute drive so i think that that's um, probably about right and then travel costs uh 62.50 so it's basically going to come out to, i think it comes out to about 530 dollars guys um, and I, I came up with that budget or for that number because I'm going to, um, in this actual column, I'm just going to put here, I'm actually going to budget 400 for this and then 60 for the fuel. And then I'm just going to put, uh, 65 for the travel cost. So in total, let me see here. So total, I'm just going to put it here just because I don't have anywhere else to put it. So total, it's going to be 400 plus 60 plus $65. So it's going to be a total of like $525. And then we're going to take uh, 525 divided by 2. So me and my mom are going to go in half seats. So it's going to be about $262.50 each for us. Which is doable. If now, if that was just me paying for it or just my mom paying for it, that would kind of suck. Um, I would probably just wait for my brother, but since we're just going to go in half seas, it's not, not too bad. And then the insurance is um, included in all of that other stuff, so it's going to be zero. So now, what if you don't have professional movers? Well, what you're going to want to do is think about, okay, am I going to rent the truck? How much is it going to cost in gas to fill up that truck? Um, how far are you going to be driving? Are you moving across the state? Are you moving 20 minutes away? Are you moving across country? You need to know all of those things, guys. How much gas is it going to take for that entire trip? You're going to put that in this box here. So, um, and then you're going to think about, okay, so if it's like a 20 minute drive, you're probably not going to need to stop and get any food or anything. But if it's, you know, across state, it's like a three hour drive, or like a six hour drive, you're probably going to need to stop and pick something up. So, and then rental equipment, you want to think about like um, a dolly or a ramp. Um, you know, if the truck is super huge and tall, you might want to get a ramp to go down. It uh, might be easier. And then if you have some really heavy furniture or like um, some appliances, like a fridge or um, some uh, washer and dryers, then you probably want to get a dolly. Um, I don't have, I'm not doing any of this, so I just put in A for me because that's not going to apply to me since I'm using professional movers. 
but just something to think about. Uh, if you're moving, you want to keep all of that stuff in mind when you're creating your budget. So next, I want to talk about packing. So boxes are kind of expensive. So I got the small and the medium boxes from Walmart because the large boxes were just absolutely huge. And I mean huge, guys. If you fill that thing up with stuff, it's going to weigh like 60, 70 pounds. You don't want to kill yourself. So I just got the small and the medium boxes because even the medium boxes filled like all the way up. It probably weighs a good 40, 50 pounds. Like no lie, it's heavy. So, and they're also pretty cheap. I think the, let me see, I think the small and the medium boxes were around, it's like one to two dollars each. So, for me, I budgeted thirty dollars for boxes. So, I don't have a whole lot of stuff. I'm just moving like stuff from my room. Uh, like, all I'm taking all the stuff in my room, putting it in a box, and then I'm taking it to the storage shed so that the professional movers can move it for me. Um, and I think, let me see, so far I bought eight boxes and I need probably mm, maybe four more or so. So I think $30 will cut it. And then packing tape. Um, I just got the, um, duck packing tape, the standard like 55 yard packing tape. Um, and I think it costs, it's like $2 a pop or something like that. So let's just budget $5 for that. I think that's about right. I think I got two of them and it was about $5. Uh, and then if you need any mattress or furniture covers, um, I would include that here. I, I don't need any, so I'm just going to put it in A. And then packing materials is stuff like bubble wrap or like the packing peanuts or something. So I looked on Walmart and a thing of bubble wrap is going to cost me about $6. So I'm going to put $6 there. So next, you want to think about um, transportation. So the transportation category, um, the fuel and maintenance and lodging, that's kind of the same as like the self-moving expenses, um, like the food and drink thing. It's kind of the same as like, um, you know, like the lodging. But like this time, like if you have to have like a hotel or something, you would include that there. Like how much is it going to be per night? Um, go ahead and like, track like where you're going to stop and the hotels you're going to stop at get the cost how much is it per night okay what kind of food is around there okay let's include that and then the fuel and the cart maintenance is what that is is um you want to start off with a full tank and if you need to get like an oil change or your car checked out any belts replaced that kind of thing before you go if it's like a cross-country trip so, like, for example, my mom is pretty much driving across the country to come live with me. So, um, she's going to have her car looked at. She's going to get a fresh oil change, going to get the tires checked, all of that sorts of things. So, and then she's probably going to stay at a hotel halfway. So, this is where she would um, put in her budget. So, I'm not going to put anything here. Actually... I am going to put something here because I'll be driving my car behind them um, in the storage or in the truck. So let me see. So let's say I'll probably do maybe three trips back and forth, which will probably come out to about maybe one tank of gas. So I'm just going to, so one tank of gas, it'll cost me about $35 to fill up. So I'm just going to put $60 here. Because I think $60 will be enough. And that's probably overkill. Um, but I think it'll be enough. And then NA for lodging. Because I'm not going to be staying anywhere. I'm going to be staying in my new house. That's where I'm going to be staying. And then uh, storage fees. So my storage unit costs $35 per month. Not $30. $35. Dollars per month. And the insurance is kind of included with the cost of that. So, um, let's see. And if you need, let's see if, let's say if you're moving in a couple of months and you just have like, you're going to be having the storage unit for a couple of months, I would just put however much it's going to be for you in uh, that uh, category there. So for the new house, what you want to think about is if, are you going to have the house clean? Do you need a new roof? Like, 
um, all of the little things that come into play there. So also you can put like a household budget here. Like if you're completely starting off fresh like I am, you're not going to have any toilet paper, any, you know, um, uh, paper towels or you're going to need some kitchen stuff whatever you need you're going to need some groceries I would put all of that there so I'm actually going to add a row here and put household and then I'm going to do another one for groceries so for cleaning services um, I'm going to budget $150. My sister wants to do it for me, and I told her I'd give her $150. I talked to um, a, an agency, and they said $115, so I was like, you know, if you do a really good job, I'll just give you $150. I mean, I want the walls clean. I want the appliances clean. Clean everything. And for household, um, my monthly, or sorry, my weekly budget, I think, is I put $15, um, but... Let's see. But I think for the first um, thing, I'm just going to budget for 50 I cannot type today, guys. And then for groceries, my grocery budget is $50 per week. Um, but I need to buy, like, all the staples and stuff. So I think I'm just going to put 100 here. So how much is all of that going to cost? So we're going to equals SUM. We're just going to click all of these individually. So that's all of it and let's see it's gonna come out to eight hundred sixty eight dollars and seventy cents and um, so this emergent or sorry not emergency fund this moving fund um, moving budget gives you like a contingency fund so like plus five percent so if you have uh, anything extra that comes up it's supposed to kind of help you plan for that and it come up. It came up with uh, forty three dollars and forty four cents for a total of nine hundred and twelve dollars and fourteen cents. So that is my moving budget and kind of how I thought through it. Um, and then, so whenever I actually get moved, I'm gonna go ahead and put um, actual through here for you guys, and I'm gonna total that up, and uh, we'll see in another video how much it actually costs to move in. Um, so if you have any comments, questions, concerns, if um, you thought of something that I didn't, leave me a comment down below, guys. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks, and we'll see you for the next video.